Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at finding factors. Um, some shortcuts, and as a personal note, this is a bit of a throwback to January 2009 when this channel started, and this was one of my first videos. There I am, 10 years or more younger. Oh my goodness. And that video was tips and tricks of finding factors. We're going to try and do something similar, give it a little bit more of a modern flair though. All right, first off, the first number, number one. One is a factor of every number. Okay, so if you have a number and you're trying to find if one is a factor, it is done. All right, two, if it's an even number, it has a factor of two. That means that the number is going to end, the very last digit's going to be a two, four, six, eight, or zero. If it ends in one of these numbers, then it has a factor of two. Number three, this one I call the sum of the digits. Um, basically what you do is you take the number and we know 12 is divisible by three. 12 has a factor of three. Let's add up the digits inside of 12. So we're going to add one plus two and that gives us three. Okay, three is divisible by three. So therefore we know that 12 is also divisible by three. Now to test whether this theory works, we're going to also try with a number we know is not divisible by three. 14 does not have a factor of three. So let's add those up. One plus four gives us five. The final answer five there is not a factor or does not have a factor of three. It's not divisible by three. Therefore 14 is not divisible by three or it does not have a factor of three. Now you might say this is kind of a little bit of extra work, but if you get a large number like this, and you maybe don't know your three times tables up to 9,000, that's okay. Because you can add up all of the digits, nine plus one plus six plus two equals 18. And if you add up all the digits and you're like, I'm still not sure, is 18 or is this divisible by three? You can add the digits again, one plus eight, and it gives you nine. So every time you can do this to kind of get down to the point where you know nine has a factor of three, 18 has a factor of three, therefore 9,162 has a factor of three. Three is a factor of that number. So let's look at this number and try and figure that out. Is this one divisible by three? Or does it have a factor of three? Eight plus one plus eight is nine plus eight, that's 17. Therefore, it does not. 17 doesn't divide evenly by three. 17 does not have a factor of three. Therefore, 818 does not have a factor of three. Let's look at one more, 1,347. If we add one plus three plus four plus seven, we get 15. And if we wanna take it one step further, we could add one plus five, which equals six. But we know 15 is divisible by three. Therefore, 1,347 will divide evenly by three, or in other words, it has a factor of three. Three times something, gives us that number. All right, let's move on to number four. If the last two digits are divisible by four, or if the last two digits are zero, zero, it is divisible by four. So here's an example, um, 12,316. Just look at the last two numbers, 16. 16 is divisible by four, or 16 has a factor of four. That means this number also has a factor of four. 300 ends in two zeros, so that means it has a factor of four. Four is also a factor of 6,328 because 28 has a factor of four. 8,944 is also um, divisible evenly by four. And 76,536 ends in 36, which means 36 has a factor of four, so this overall number also has a factor of four. Number five, if the last number is a zero or a five, five 
is a factor of those numbers. So let's play a quick round of factor or not, um, or actually divisible or not, I guess, is or does 574 have a factor of 5? No, it does not. Where's the other one that does not have a factor of 5 or won't divide evenly by 5? It's over here, 56,012 ends in a 2. It does not end in a 0 or a 5. Therefore, it will not divide evenly by 5. Or in other words, it does not have a factor of 5. 6. 6 is an interesting one. Um, 6 is equal to 2 times 3. And what that tells us um, is partly that this number must be divisible by 2 and by 3. All right? Which means it needs to be an even number and it also needs to have that sum rule. So let's go through a couple of examples here. 18. First off, it is an even number, so it's divisible by 2. It has a factor of 2. Good. Um, does it have a factor of 3? Well, let's add up the numbers. 1 plus 8 is 9. So yes, 18 has a factor of 6. 6 is a factor of 18. Let's try 16. 16 is an even number. However, when we add up the digits, it gives us 7. Therefore, 16 does not have a factor of 6. Let's look at this one again, um, 9,162. It's an even number, and when you add up the digits, it gives you um, a, a number that has a factor of 3. So therefore, 9,162 is divisible by 3 and 2 and 6, which is what we're actually looking for. All right, let's try it out with this one. Um, 7, 000, or 7, 000, 726. When we add, uh, first off, we look, is it even? Yes. When we add up the digits, 7 plus 2 plus 6, we get 15. 15 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 726 is divisible by 6. And the last number, 1,347. Is it divisible by 2? Is it? No, it's, it's an odd number, so it therefore does not have the factor of 6. All right. For, um, for 7 and 8, I recommend that you just check these ones out, like divide the number by 7 and see if you get a nice um, even answer. Divide it by 8. Um, there are a couple of tricks to look for, but I think the tricks are more complicated than... Um, then they're they're worth with eight it does have to be an even number so you can kind of narrow it down a little bit there but um anyway let's move on to nine nine is an interesting number that um it's difficult to to kind of do rules with but there is one cool thing with nine that i want to show you if you write the numbers zero through nine in order from left to right and then you write the numbers zero from nine zero through nine in order from um, back from right to left, and then you just move those up, you have all of the multiples of 9. So that's kind of fun. Um, one quick trick you could do, if the number is less than 100, you can add the two digits, and if they equal 9, then it's divisible by 9, but um, other than 99, of course. But um, anything less than 99, that will work. Um, but that's just because they all kind of work out that way. All right, number 10. If it ends with a zero, it is divisible by 10. Let's do a quick um, search through these and try and find the ones that are divisible by 10. Well, 570 ends in a zero, 700 ends in a zero. Then I've got um, 942. I've got 12,803, that ends in a three, so that one's out. And 71, that ends in a one. So I'm thinking that there's um, not a lot of examples here of numbers that end with zero. I'm going to have to give you a couple more. Let's see, there's 20 and 90 and 130 and 67,840 and 40 and 100. Any number that ends with a zero has a factor of 10. I hope that that video was helpful for you and fun. A bit of a throwback to one of my first videos I ever made. Have a wonderful day.